Hey everybody, what's up? What's up? I never, I never say that. Welcome to my channel. This is collaboration with Xanthi Simmons, Casey Golden, and Dina Norland. How did we get them again? They just wanted to do a collab with me. That doesn't make sense. These amazing, talented women decided that they wanted to do a collaboration with me, and we came up with the name Pen Pal Artists. I had to think about that one then. And I sent them a lovely package over the seas to them, and completely forgot about it. Not really. I was like, waiting, like, when are they gonna get it? Um, they're gonna hate it. They're gonna think it's rubbish. I don't want to do the challenge and they're gonna be like bye Steph you suck bye but they didn't they got the packages and they've all done the work and I thought it would be only fair if I joined them in doing that as well so what you're gonna see here today is the challenge that I sent them so if you haven't seen their videos then just ignore me and go on down to their videos below and watch what they've done because it's a surprise mystery challenge and I don't want to ruin it because I think it might be quite funny when they open the boxes but okay are you ready because I'm gonna spoil it so pause the video I'll give you I'll give you till now spoiler go okay I created them a project where they had been taken on board a ship and they had to create a map for a pirate captain to help him bury his treasure because they happen to be cartographers that's right I thought this through they could use whatever they want and they could interpret the way to make the map however they like they just had to include three things which was number one um what was it oh yeah um, number one, a scene from their favourite book or a, a building or something, some kind of landmark from their favourite book. The last item they purchased and number three... Kazush. And number three, a mythical creature. So they had a lot of fun with this, I had a lot of fun with this as you will see at the end when we all have a little discussion about my map that I made and on their videos we have a discussion about their maps that they made so you definitely need to go check those videos out if you're interested in this project and yeah. I sent this project out a few months ago. <laughs> I've had months to work on this and I left it till the last minute. Here's the process of me making my map. Also guys, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe because that would be really cool because I'm just a little baby channel and I would really like to make friends with you guys and have more people see my stuff. So that would be really pleasant. Pleasant. Okay, it's voiceover time. Hi, I'm voiceover Steph. I'm slightly different to the Steph you saw before because I'm gonna be talking and watching the same stuff that you're watching but commentating on it, that's not a word, whatever. I picked out my favourite paper because I was going to send these free papers to the guys, the guys, the girls, and they were going to use the paper as part of the project but then I thought that was quite limiting and hard work so I was like nah, just I'll make it more free. So I used this brown paper and what I started out doing was I just swatched some gouache and pens and pro markers onto the paper to see how the paper reacted with that and tested out what I was going to use. Then I sketched out my map and I wanted to have quite a bit of a modern type-esque map, you know when you see um, maps of a country and it's all cool and graphic and stylized. Yeah, I wanted to do that and I took a while to pick my favourite location in a book but in the end I chose The Shining and The Overlook Hotel because I love that book, it's very creepy and it's very good and it was the first horror that I ever read and I realised that I like reading horror after that point so I wanted to put it in because I think it would be something that people, the other girls would not put into their map so I wanted to make something completely different. Obviously I have a lot of different favourite books and I could go on for a lifetime about that. If you're new to my channel, um, you don't know but I put a lot of book-esque, like booktube stuff into my videos. That's why I added that into this project because I want to relate books to the channel as well because I'm a writer and an artist so I like to do all my favourite stuff. Anyway, that was a complete tangent. As I was saying, I was testing out what to use and I think wash kind of just left the paper kind of weird even though it painted down nicely it just left this weird texture. So I decided to use pro markers and these tiger markers. If you haven't seen my recent video, I went to Tiger and bought these markers, which are really cheap. They're like a euro each. And yeah, so I used them and they were a bit streakier than I thought they were going to be, but hey, I just went with it. It's fine. I used them and it's too late to go back on that. I quite liked the way that it turned out in the end. It gave it a little bit of a texture and sure, it was streaky and that's probably, you know, a bad sign for alcohol markers but I praised these markers before and they work well on other paper I think this paper just reacted a bit weirdly to it because it's kind of like a cardstock type paper so maybe it was like oh no we're not absorbing this properly and yeah I'm gonna blame the paper sure I, I don't know I think it looks quite cool anyway the texture of it it looks kind of like 
intentional and I'm gonna pretend that's intentional now that I've uh, said that because I didn't think of saying that before yeah it's intentional <laughs> don't lie so I'm just coloring in everything I did a generic kind of map I um, traced out different places and um, the second thing that I needed to include was uh, something that I purchased so the last thing I purchased were actually flights to London and I thought I could do like this cool weird like mud kind of village that would look like it belonged in a fantasy setting and just call it town of flights and have that in there and I had quite fun time doing that because I was doing some patterns like this in my sketchbook previously so I knew I wanted to include some sort of um, image like this and I think it looks quite cute and you can imagine these people living in these little like mud caverns I don't even know what they are like just mounds of mud and living their living their best lives in these mounds of mud i'm sure that's not really a great thing to do but they like it and i don't know who they are but i'm i'm rambling mm -hmm. so i'm just coloring in the rest of the the rest of the overlook hotel i'm using pro markers and then i went in with my fine liners and i decided that i wanted to use um outline because Previously, I was thinking that I was just going to colour it in and have like really block colours, but then I thought I wanted to add a little bit more detail to it, so I went in with the fine liners and, you know, lined up that shiz, did some cool stuff with it. I did a pirate ship because obviously this whole project is kind of revolving, revolving around being on a pirate ship, so I thought maybe that could be the ship that we're on right now and I wanted to include it. Obviously, I had to include generic whale number five, um, his name is and he likes to swim and he was put too close to that that country but it's fine I like how he turned out anyway he's super cute I wanted to add more stuff to the water but I think I just I was running out of time like I said I am the queen of procrastination and I kind of did this last minute I had um, lots of other work to do and if you don't know recently I did a Kickstarter and actually all the comics arrived today so I have to like parcel them up and uh, it's been a bit, a bit hectic a couple of weeks so I'm sorry about this uh, I've learned not to procrastinate anymore but anyway that's my reasoning for for things and not adding more stuff to the water I wanted to add like fish and different things but you know maybe maybe I'll do this project again and learn from my mistakes and I think when you make mistakes and you learn from them then that's great you know so I just had so much fun with this project and it was really great working with these gals we talk a lot online and stuff and we chat about our art usually and it's great to know that they're there if I need to discuss what I'm what projects I'm working on and YouTube stuff so it's been really nice working with them and I hope that they want to work with me again because we want to do this project again but maybe in a few months so we do it like quarterly or something and yeah so I'm just going around with the fine liner and lining everything up because I think it worked better it just made everything pop out I was thinking this country on the left was looking a bit empty so I wanted to add some different so I added this rocky landscape and forests and trees and a lake and then I added a lighthouse because um, there's a lighthouse in my recent comic which is kind of the main focus of the story so I needed to have that little little thing in there because you know why not and it was fun to do so I needed to I needed to basically um, fill up this area and I really liked the graphic style of the way that I drew the light hitting the ocean so I wanted to kind of make that in the typography. I wanted to have fun with the typography and go with a certain style but I wish that I had fought it out a little bit more instead of just going for it because I think some of it looks a little bit wonky and I wish it was straight round the island and stuff. I think you guys probably can see what I mean there. It would have been nice but I think the brightening kind of turned out nicely as well when I add more stuff to it and make it bulkier and more of a bolder text I think it works better especially with this kind of chunky style that I've gone with with the illustrations. If that makes sense to anybody I hope it does. I, I realized um, that I didn't add a mythical creature and for ages I was like I've got to make that whale mythical somehow um, and I just realized like how how am I gonna make that whale mythical and I'm just gonna add some wings to it what am I gonna do so instead I just added a little dragon in the middle of this um, countryside and he's protecting his gold and I think that was the the thing I liked least oh here's a little pesto cam because she likes to sit and ruin you know the lighting of my shot but yeah um <laughs> Sorry, side note. I, I think I liked the dragon least of all the things that I wanted to include because I, I like mythical creatures and I was thinking I really want to see the other girls draw mythical creatures because I think they can all do it really well. And then I was like, ah, I have to draw a mythical creature now. And I was like, no, it's going to be a dragon, isn't it? Yeah, so I popped a dragon on there. And it's quite interesting to see what the other girls have drawn. And maybe if you've seen their videos already, you know what I mean. And if you haven't, then... 
yeah, you hopefully will understand what I mean by this is interesting. I just added some more texture to it. Uh, I wanted like shark fins coming out because I wanted that classic look. I just added little details. So let's have a look and see what these guys think. I'm here with Dino and Casey and Xanthi. I'm going to show them my map. So Whoa. here we go. Oh, proper intro. Wow. Yeah, we're like so <laughs> professional. <gasps> Those colors. Oh my gosh, it's so you. Oh yeah. You you always had the turquoise and pink, and it's like the best colors yeah, ever. Yeah, I think I'm a bit addicted to like this color scheme. I love your trees. That's my takeaway. I love your trees. This, <laughs> yeah, I agree. They're oh so gosh. cute. So my book is The Shining because I had like loads of different books that I are my favorite books. So I was like, The Overlook Hotel would be quite funny because it's from The Shining. It's the haunted hotel. Oh, another haunted thing. Yeah, and then You're into I that put Spooksville. Town of Flight because the last thing I bought was flights. Ooh, so mm. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make a weird, like, weird city thing in the <laughs> bottom left that looks Town of Flight. I don't know. That is really good. Cool. It is really nice. Thanks. I really like the whale. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I realize that he's too, like, close to the, the country, though. I'm like, I wish I could have just centralized him in the ocean a bit. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> no, he's sweet. He's going to, across the ocean, so it's fine. He's just chilling. He just started Ooh. his journey. I love it. The, I love is the, the lighthouse from your well. story? Is that like a little Easter egg? Yeah. Ah, just, yeah. got you. <laughs> to put that in there. That's so funny. <laughs> Pop that in. <laughs> you can't I was get like, you need to have a lighthouse because, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know why. <laughs> Wink wonk. <laughs> it's great. I, these are so different from each other. It's yeah. like yours are, are more, is more modern. Casey's are like yeah. super cute fantasy <laughs> and like my like fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. Now I'm like, curious uh, about Santos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Speaking of, let's uh, let's look at. Wait, wait, wait! Clef's oh. for Steph. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you, Clef's for me. <laughs> Well, that's it. As you can tell, we had a lot of fun making these maps and discussing them afterwards. So again, if you haven't seen their videos, go check them out down below. I've finished this video and wow, it's the end. So bye guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time. That was, that was stupid.